Welcome to the Wise Dome Podcast, a series that is so much more than just a podcast series. This is a movement towards a lifestyle you know you deserve. It's all about the ease of inspiring and sharing your knowledge and experiences online. I'm your host, Nikki Kelly, and I have always admired those who share their wisdom, those who have decided to inspire others. Just like my guests, I found my version of inspiring others by sharing my wisdom and created a lifestyle I wanted, and I'm going to share all the secrets for how you can too. On this show, you'll find inspiration, motivation, and advice from experts, as well as valuable tips on how to get started or improve your business. Let's dive into how you can begin and grow your wisdom business. Remember, inspiring others looks different for everyone. How will you inspire? Hey there and welcome to the Wise Dome podcast and today is a podcast just from me, just a solo podcast message and it's all mainly about how we react to situations and the reason I'm bringing this up is because last week was an amazing week for me. Um, it was full of surprises for me personally and in business and that's something I'm sure we can all relate to when you're living a daily life of routines you have appointments meetings drop-offs pickups etc to do and and then bam someone rear ends your car and well there goes all the plans that you've had in state so here's what I want to talk about briefly on how we react to when these spanners get catapulted into the air so to speak and to put this into context, last Wednesday, I, you know, I was going about my business, dropping off the eldest at school, and then I was on my way to drop off the youngest at daycare. And then a lady behind me, possibly doing the same thing, really, just had a moment. And while we met in circumstances where they were not great, and there was, of course, a moment, you know, of emotional reaction where I went into protection mode, as every parent does when a child's involved in the car. And I checked on him and everything; he was fine. And However, after I checked the bubs and everything and I knew all was okay, I sort of had to place my emotions on hold and it was sort of like I had to go into a different headspace and I knew that my feelings would then come into play after emotions. And just to explain this, you know, I wanted to address today that, you know, many of us come across things that, you know, can throw spanner into the works with business, personal life, etc. And when we realise and see what happens to us in that particular instant, you know, it can we can possibly ensure that our reaction and the process to fix a problem is addressed a lot smoother. And it's not to say that, you know, the people listening to this cannot process situations and so forth. However, but having an awareness of what goes on to what goes on with us, like physically and emotionally, you know, hope hopefully maybe it can help tweak things in future or maybe be able to pass this on to other people. But you see, when an event occurs uh, such as, you know, this situation anyway, um, you're likely going to, like as humans, we, we tend to experience emotions, you know, such as fear or sadness and anger and so forth, for example, if you've cut yourself. And this is obviously, this is due to a stress hormone that is released in our bodies. And that helps us physically react, such as, you know, taking flight or fighting, as we've heard some of us have heard so I won't dive into the science side of things though but the next phase after actually experiencing that emotion are feelings and the feelings and emotions are actually very different feelings is something that actually you experience as a reaction to those emotions so now whilst many of us experience the same emotions to events feelings on the other hand is not the case for example whilst one person may feel panicked let's say from sending the wrong email another person may feel irritated at themselves so what I'm trying to get at is we can actually control our feelings so if something happens our body goes into an emotional response but the reaction to that response brings on a feeling and that feeling is what we can control now over the past year I've gone through quite a few experiences and many of us do when we're building businesses and so forth and they've taught me a fair few lessons and each time I was pay- faced with a situation that looked rather bleak or 
you know, there looked like a massive mountain was, you know, placed in front of me. I slowly began to recognize that those feelings came through after the emotional rush. And I learned, and I'm still learning today, to take a breath and just look at the facts and address what information I needed for me to get back on track. So admittedly, you know, last Wednesday happened, you know, it, it challenged me to move into into gear quicker than usual. You know, something, something might get thrown at me in business, at work or whatever, but this is, a, you know, split second situation. However, all I can thank is that every situation that I've been thrown into over the past, you know, my whole life, whatever, it helped me switch quickly and think rationally and move away from the emotions that I was going through. I knew that I could address those emotions a little later on and just get into gear and and the feelings of, you know, anger and so forth. Yeah, they did. They started coming through and everything, but I had to calm myself down. And the crazy thing is, and this is the other flip side to all of this, is (laughs) Whilst everything happened on Wednesday, you know, the situation controlling my emotions into problem solving and everything, Friday, however, was completely different. And instead of going to problem solving, I actually had to go into like thank you speech and calming myself down and and sounding like a proper, (laughs) like a professional person up on stage. So to explain this, in July, I was nominated for an award and I was so grateful. But I truly felt like I, you know, I wasn't anywhere close to the caliber of, you know, the other women being nominated in this particular award, which was called Women to Watch by Bean Magazine. And when I found out I was a finalist after that, um, again, I was still going through this whole imposter syndrome mode. And I was just thankful, first and foremost, of just being nominated in the end. But I did say to hubby, like, let's just go to the gala. It's our first one. It's a good way to meet the people that, you know, I've been chatting to online face-to-face finally after years of online chats and so forth. So we flew up to Brisbane, you know, we set ourselves up, got all dressed up and all that sort of stuff, ready to have drinks and just chat with the people that were there. Um, And... You know, the night started off, you know, it's just, it was beautiful. It was just, you know, well organized and everything like that. And, you know, we had listened to some amazing talks from some, some successful women in business. And the first award was being announced. And, you know, they said, come on, let's drum roll. And everyone's hitting the tables and everything. And all of a sudden, I hear Nikki Kelly. Well, you know, <laughs> my husband and I just started laughing. And I literally went into shock. I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, my reaction was quite hilarious. But anyway, I had to breathe through my walk up to the stage and I knew I had to sort of calm myself down and you know slow the heartbeat rates down and so forth but the thing was that was stressing me out the most was because I didn't prepare for this I had no idea that this was going to happen um and I, I knew why I won the award and I knew that you know through my thank you speech I was possibly going to be you know mentioning my daughter which you know tears would start running and everything like that so I really had to control myself and the feelings that you know were going to come into action so my speech was okay it was obviously not prepared or anything as you know all the speeches after me were so structured so well and I was thinking god I you know should have prepared myself but you know so be it but at least I did calm myself down I prepared my mind to share the fact of you know passing on a message of thanks and sharing my why but My point is, with all of this, is that sometimes things can happen to us that are crappy or amazing, and it's those moments that test us, that test our ability to react in a rational response. Now, I'm not a psychologist, so, you know, what I say today is more about my experience and how I take moments that happen to me and evaluate them. And each time I do, I can see what I could have done differently or, you know, what I'd be sure to do again next time. But... Stepping back and seeing what can be controlled and what can't be controlled does take away the stress and it just opens up the opportunity for us to move forward a lot easier. So I just hope that the next hurdle or amazing surprise that presents itself to you, you do realise that you've got this. You just simply have to stop a second, breathe and take a cha- cha- take charge Sorry, of those feelings that are coming through because you can handle the situation because you are strong so that's my little message for today Uh, we'll be back next week and 
and uh, starting off with some more interviews again. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead and take care for now. Thanks for listening to the Wise Dome podcast. If you enjoyed and have been inspired by this episode and you'd like to support the podcast, do subscribe and please share it with others. Post about us on social media or leave a rating and review. To catch all the latest from me, Nikki Kelly, you can follow me on Instagram at Wise Dome Podcast, W-I-S-E-D-O-M-E Podcast. I'm Nikki Kelly. Thanks again and we'll catch up next time. Thank you.